www.ghostofthecoast.com or call 1 877 223 I'm Robert Osborne. This week's movie essential, Stella Dallas, which we just showed, had a great deal to do with how much the social class you're born into can influence your whole life. Back in the 1930s, it was an all-important factor here in the U.S. After World War II, less so, although in some societies, it can still be a deciding factor on how one is treated. Well, our next movie is a 1947 look at that same basic subject. The movie is Cass Timberlane, starring Spencer Tracy, Lana Turner, and Zachary Scott, based on a best-selling novel by Sinclair Lewis. It's about a May-December romance, with Tracy as a much-respected judge from the right side of the tracks who falls in love with a younger woman from the wrong side of those tracks. Now his friends basically squeeze her out because she isn't one of them. Well, at the time this movie was made, Spencer Tracy was considered the best actor in the movies. And his home studio of MGM bought the movie rights to the Lewis novel specifically for Tracy. Well, casting Tracy's leading lady was somewhat trickier. It was first offered to Vivian Lee, very illogical choice, and she wisely turned it down. Esther Williams won the role, and she was actually perfect for it. She later said that she felt it was the only role without a swimming pool in it, whichever fit her to a T, and she made a big pitch to do it. But MGM had other ideas. They tried to borrow Jennifer Jones to do it, and there were others considered, but they finally and wisely gave it to the lady who had just emerged as the studio's number one box office draw, with two recent blockbusters to her credit, The Postman Always Rings Twice and Green Dolphin Street, and that was Lana. And she indeed did fit the role well and gives a really wonderful performance in it. The rest of the cast is top notch as well. Zachary Scott, borrowed from Warner Brothers for this movie. Also Mary Astor's in it, Tom Drake, Margaret Lindsay, and Albert Decker. There's also Walter Pidgeon in a brief cameo role. So have a look. Here's one of MGM's biggest, classiest movies of 1947, Cass Timberlane. <laughs> 